Millions turned their eyes to the skies last night, hoping to catch a spectacular show, a rare solar eclipse called the Ring of Fire. ABC's Clayton Sandell has the story. This dramatic haunting sight is why astronomers call it the Ring of Fire, an annular eclipse that started in Asia, then crept over the western U.S. before vanishing near Texas. <laughs> Across the West, people threw eclipse parties, none bigger than this one, in a football stadium in Boulder, Colorado. It's the largest eclipse crowd in history. Wearing special glasses, even welder's masks, 10,000 people traded smartphones and TVs for the wonder of a natural phenomenon better than science fiction. People are hungering for an authentic adventure. You can make a whole alien world, of course, in the movies, but this is real. So real, astronomers warn looking too long causes permanent damage. You can see very quickly it ends up burning a spot in the paper. If you were looking through this telescope with your eye, the same thing would happen to your retina. Most people came prepared with their glasses, but could not control the weather. So here's the deal. This is supposed to be one of the biggest eclipse viewing parties in the country. Thousands of people expected, but right now the main attraction is behind the clouds. But after hours of waiting, Can you see the, sun? the clouds parted. It almost looks like an apple that someone's taking a bite out of. Astronomers say it'll be five years before the next eclipse over the U.S. For Good Morning America, Clayton Sandell, ABC News, Boulder, Colorado.